James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 29th, 2023, 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very large spike in our electromagnetic field here. It looks like it started at about 1945 UTC time, although there was some spiking prior to that. But this spike looks like it actually went off the charts at about 1600 hertz here. And we can see over here on this chart, it looks like it dies out at around 1600 hertz. Maybe a little bit stronger. We've had several impacts or events hitting our geomagnetic shield since that time period. Jumping over to take a look at our Schumann residence. We see that we saw some activity and spiking, although not too substantial, around 1800 UTC time. And since about 1820 UTC time, it's been off the charts. There should actually be a 20 printed right about here, but it's not showing. These spikes are again off the charts. These charts ending at over 105 hertz, a very strong event. You can see the geophones up here and how hard they've been hit. Now, I do know what the agitator for this event is. We'll cover that in just a moment. Taking a quick look at the six-day comparison of our Schumann residence, each line being a day, cut up into six-hour quarters. We see that we haven't had any real activity in over three and a half days, only to now all of a sudden have spiking off the charts here. This will be from about 1815 to about 20 UTC time today. These charts are running a bit behind. This is showing 11 to 1 p.m. Central Time here in the U.S. For those that don't know how to make the conversion. Confirming with the equipment and our amplitudes using our geophones, our UF noise detectors, our ELF noise detectors, our second SR frequency detector, we see that this is a very strong event here and the amplitudes have spiked up. It looks like this started closer to around 1700 UTC time and it's ongoing currently at 20 UTC time. Now it could go even higher or it could level off. We will update you if this continues. Now we're looking at the Italian Schumann Residence Modeling Center. It's located right here and we will zoom in. And before we do that, let's take a run and see the lightning storms over that facility. Now we're going to zoom in so you can better see that facility and actually see the name. It's going to be just southwest of Turin, actually in the mountains here. And this is all part of Italy. This looks like seeding here caused extra lightning and stronger storms. And as we can see, this is the area or city that the modeling station is located in here. And we can see all the thunderstorms that are in that immediate area. This is definitely our agitator. And we can guess that it is being intensified by the radiation storm we're currently being hit by. Also, the polar cap absorption event that's ongoing. So we have more than one agitator here. And we are off the charts. Taking one last look at that Schumann residence, it's been off of the charts for at least the last 20 minutes. But the geophones have been being hit hard for about the last two hours. If y'all are feeling the effects of this, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if it's physiological, psychological, or a combination of both. And let me know if this is a positive feeling or event for you or a negative feeling. With that said, God bless each and every one of y'all. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.